Welcome, welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast just for today, October the 16th, 2021. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not every single card may resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. Starting off with your all over energy card, you have been given message in a bottle. So basically, this is about communication, a sign, something coming in. Maybe it's coming in in the form of, of little signs, messages, things you're hearing, seeing, um, and also it could be coming in in the form of tangible things like letters, texts, phone calls, things like that as well. Spirit might be sending you a message too. So, you know, maybe you've been asking for something, a sign of some sort, uh, you know, and when you believe it, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to receive it. So, Spirit hears you and the reply is going to be favorable. So I do believe that, you know, uh, if you're in a relationship and you've asked for a message, you can expect someone to favor you with positive news today. This could be in the form of a letter, a phone call or an email. You're in the intended receiver now. Okay, you are the intended receiver now. So stay open to what you can learn. Um, you might be hearing about someone when it comes to a relationship. At work, maybe you're right on target with your purpose and your passion. And you might be coming into alignment with your destiny. And Spirit wants you to know that. You're on the right track. So at work, know that things are okay there. Know that you are on the right track with your career and your job. For others, you know, it's again, uh, you know, you're right on target and you have a purpose in your relationship. This is good. So... <clears throat> I think you're going to be receiving messages of some sort today, whether they're actual physical messages or whether they are messages, signs, repeating signs, numbers, uh, songs, whatever you're seeing today, you're going to be receiving a message because I think some of you may have gone out and asked spirit and you've connected with them and said, please show me a sign. I'm not clear. I can't see what it is I'm supposed to see. <clears throat> and that makes a sense here because looking at this reading here, with that statement I just made, you have the hermit and the hermit is all about you going out on your own personal journey here at this time and taking time to be reflective, taking time to think about what it is you want to do and where you want to go. And sometimes we have to pull back from all the noise of society and the world around us. OK, um, <clears throat> it's good. You know, you, you could be receiving some good advice from somebody. Maybe, you know, this is spirit stepping forward and saying, hey, these are the signs I'm trying to let you, you know, give you and let you see so stay focused and keep your eyes open for things coming in i want you to manifest them okay if you've been wanting something that you know that strongly manifest it that it's coming in and watch for those signs coming in you're going on self-discovery right now too i think you're <clears throat> some of us or some of you may be feeling that you're indecisive of are you in the right place you know where is it you truly want to go where are you going to go from here uh, you know, you're going on a spiritual quest. Some of you, I think, are tapping into your higher self, tapping into your own intu intuition, your psychic abilities, and you might be <clears throat> leaning into your spirituality because I talked about maybe, uh, you know, you throwing out messages to the universe and to spirit. Sorry about that. That's background noise outside. I don't know what that is. So anyway, <clears throat> I have my window open because it's quite warm in here, so I apologize for that. So um, I think, you know, you're pulling back here. You could be pulling back from a relationship as well that needs a time out. OK, but I think you're on your journey. You're, you're on your self self discovery journey here. But you have this ability to see the light by taking yourself to the silence and really thinking about where it is and what you want to do. You have this ability as well to tap into those the connections in the messages that you're getting. The connections could be from spirit, from the divine, from, you know, universal life force energy here coming in. Or it could also be someone and someone that you look up to here on the earth plane, someone here that you can connect with as a mentor. But you have this ability as well today, a lot of you, to light the path for other people, be a mentor for others, share your experiences to enlighten and lift other people, because I always say we rise by lifting others. So moving on to your next card here, you've got the three of swords, and you're healing through something, something that affected you on a, on a, on a heart chakra level, something that left you feeling heartbroken or left you feeling disappointed 
disappointed in a situation. Now, it could have been a relationship, friendship, love relationship, but it could have been something that you really felt emotional about, a situation or a phase you were going through. But believe me, you're healing through it now. Uh, you know, you've dealt with it. And I do believe that, you know, for some of you, there could have been a third party that was a, a determining factor that stirred the cauldron uh, that, that caused this issue. But I think, you know, you're going through some reflection here. You're stepping up into your spirituality. You're, you're on your new journey now and you're healing through this. The next card you've got is the Two of Pentacles. So you could be finding yourself taking a lot of a lot of things on your plate. I want you to be careful because you could be taking a little bit more than you actually can handle today. So, you know, I want you to step back and make out a priority list here. Okay? Um, and don't you know, don't don't push yourself too hard. But you could also be overanalyzing, thinking about a situation here. Maybe this situation here that left you disappointed. Don't do that. Don't overanalyze the situation. I think there's a decision and a choice that you have to make, either with yourself or that is determined around someone else. Maybe you're dealing with some, uh, you know, somebody out here. But I think, you know, you're very, very busy at this time. And I think you need to realize that you need to allocate some of this work to other other people. Um, you know, I look at this in two ways here. Uh, you know, um, you're going to be able to uh, look forward to something coming in because you've got two things here. Two, you know, she holds these two discs, these two orbs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, she definitely has two choices, two decisions, two options, two offers, uh, and uh, two decisions that maybe she has to make. Some of you might be signing, signing, um, you know, something today too. They're telling me this. You could be signing something as well. I mean, this card is, you know, it is the pentacles, but my, my spirit sends me all kinds of messages and I take them. So, you know, you're dealing with change. You're dealing with multiple jobs right now. You need to balance and you might be balancing your budget. Maybe you're doing that too, but you've got the ability to adapt here. Okay. You know, it requires a decision on your part. Stay open. Okay. To new perspectives, perspectives. If you're struggling to make a choice, you know, just take a breath, step back and just look at the whole picture. Don't get all stressed out and, and spaced out over this. Okay. If you lighten up, you may easily find the answer here. Now, coming in with the chariot, the chariot is all about you being a champion. I love the chariot. The chariot tells me that you're going into any struggles, any challenges today with a mindset that you're confident, that you can make this happen, that you can make things work out in your favor, okay? And it's only, you know, only because of your self, uh, you know, discipline and your own sheer willpower that you're going to be able to pull something off here, okay? It's a great leap forward. So you could be receiving a promotion. You could be receiving an award today. Um, you could be traveling. Maybe you're going the distance to do something today. Maybe you're planning a trip for business or you're planning a trip for pleasure here. But you're definitely moving forward here. And I always call him the champion. He goes into the arena. He knows there's risks. He knows there's consequences. But he goes in there with a mindset that come hell or high water, he's going in there. He's going to take that risk. It's worth it to him. And he comes out the champion because he's positive. He stepped into his out of his comfort zone and he stepped into his, his confidence zone. So stay calm and remain grounded. And be clear about what it is you've been trying to achieve. It's important to show self-determination and control at this time. Okay? Uh, and especially when you're dealing with and communicating with other people as well. Well, this is your little mini reading here. Spirit showed me a lot of information in this reading. And, you know, you're moving forward today. So you could be receiving some really good messages coming in. I wish you a great remainder to today and a positive outlook. So many blessings, much love, and I'll see you soon.